Hi, I'm awake. I'm alive. Starting Vlogmas Day 4. It is Sunday. Depending on how this weekend went, um, I had the option of going to the show today, but because my headache was still persistent this morning, I just th said, let me stay home. Um, I'll finish. I have like one, technically one train left um, on this particular track I've been learning. So we're gonna sort of touch base and I'll probably go back at some point later this week. It's about three o'clock. I finally feel like my headache has maybe rescinded and I don't want to exert myself too much, but I would like to get the apartment sort of back together. So we'll see what I can accomplish. My plan for the evening is just to keep it cozy. I'm going to put on an audiobook. I put a hold for the third book in the uh, Winter Night Trilogy. Is that what it's called? Uh, the Winter Night Trilogy. So The Bear and the Nightingale. Um, and then I can't remember the name of the second book. Oh, The Girl and the Horse. And I think this is The Winter Witch. The Winter of the Witch um, is the third book. So I want to finish this series before the end of the year. I started it at the beginning of this year. Um, and did I wait for winter to come back around to start this third book? Yes, I did. I started it last night as I was falling asleep um, to really just like shut my mind down. Uh, so I'll restart it because I, I don't know how much I listen to. That'll kind of get me going. Um, and yeah, because I would really love, we now have the tree here. So I'm hoping we decorate tomorrow or Tuesday and really get things Christmasified around here. Okay, <laughs> checking in. I'm trying out the new tripod that I unboxed in day two, I think. it's only, This is only vlog four, and I don't even know what I've done in the last three days. I'm gonna blame that on the migraine. I attempted to do laundry. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna brave the five flights. I'm gonna go down. There's always a gamble when I wait until the afternoon because normally, because I get up kind of early-ish. Um, I usually like to get down there before 8 a.m. and start rolling my laundry through and I'm pretty much guaranteed to get at least one washer and one dryer if I do that. If I wait, it's a little bit more of a gamble that other people are doing their laundry, I feel like especially on a Sunday. But I was like, I'm gonna do it. I have to take some <laughs> garbage down, so might as well make the trip and see if we can do a thing. Uh, and then our laundry room is a whole thing. I don't think we've had a fully working laundry room in over a year and a half, which is so frustrating. I'm very thankful that we were able to find an apartment in a building where we have laundry in building uh, and I don't have to go to a laundromat, but it's very frustrating when one or more machines is broken especially when one of those machines has been broken for like a year and a half um so there were only two washers uh somebody was transferring their stuff over so i was like okay let me see and then my card my laundry card wasn't being read by the machine it said it couldn't connect to server and usually when that's happening i end up having to pay on my credit card and if i do that the company puts like a hold on the card. I don't like doing that. It's really annoying. Um, so I'm going to give it a go tomorrow morning. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't. So we are relaxing. I'm going to figure out the right configuration of lights to turn on. I'm probably going to light a candle and we're just going to get cozy. I currently have my dinner started. So waiting for some timers to go off before I can move forward with that process. So while I'm waiting for that, I thought I could talk to you about my reading goals for December because that's going to be a big part of these vlogs. And the only reason I haven't talked about anything I've been reading over the last few days is because with work, I haven't been reading because <laughs> I've been so busy prepping for work and being at work. So earlier I said I was listening to the audiobook, the third book in the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. The Winter of the Witch. I am into part two now. So I think I've listened to about an hour of the audiobook. And I really love that narrator. I'll put her name 
on the screen. Um, her voice is very easy to listen to and Catherine's writing really lends itself to audiobook narration. So I've really enjoyed listening to that series over audio. I'm very into what's happening in this book. So I think that'll be one of my main reads this week, which is exciting. I've been really struggling with my audiobooks over the last two weeks, which is not like me. All of the books that I'm in the middle of physically, I cannot get my hands on the audiobooks. And <laughs> it's killing me uh, because it is slowing down that reading process because I do heavily rely on audiobooks to get a lot of my reading done. So my goal, my goal last week was to finish as many of the books that I'm in the middle of as possible before December. That didn't happen. So now uh, my main goal is to finish this stack before the end of the year and then um, I will probably reorganize my bookshelf when we anchor this one in uh, and then I'll sort of assess what books I want to read before the end of the year but the priority ones are Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I have about a quarter left so definitely feels attainable. Um, this is one of those books where I really have to be conscious of reading at least a chapter a day if not a chapter and a half. And that seems to be a good pace for me. If I can get into that groove we'll be golden. It's when I go a couple days without reading it I don't want to pick it up again. Not that I'm not enjoying it. I think I, I made a, a vlog on TikTok. I kept saying that the uh, I forget what word I was using. The way the storytelling is formatted on the actual page makes it hard for me to process because there are certain chunks like the chapters are anywhere between 10 and 15 pages long so they're long chapters to begin with which I really struggle with in physical books unless they are action heavy books and then there's multiple things that happen across the chapter it's not just one scene or one day <laughs> there could be like two weeks between a paragraph and there's no page break and that has really been messing with my mind. I'm sorry, I'm not waiting for this ambulance to go by. Uh, the actual formatting of the the way the storytelling in the chapter is laid out like that's that's the part that's really messing with my mind. It's not the actual content. I also just happen to have picked up like three not action forward books that heavily rely on like internal narration which is my least favorite type of storytelling. I, that's just been a struggle especially because this book is single POV. I, I am curious to know if we dipped into other POVs um, if I would feel the same. I do plan on finishing this series because I am enjoying the content. It's just taking me a while and I was it, I can get the audiobook on Hoopla, the library app that I have, but the way they have it formatted in the app is that is it is a single audio file instead of chapter files. Impossible. <laughs> Next book, a little chunkier, is The Spear Crested Water by Simon Jimenez. This is one of my read before the end of 2023 reads. So many people have been raving about this book and I am really enjoying it. Um, I was really hoping to listen to the audiobook and and read it at the same time but things just got a little out of control once I finally got my hands on the audiobook through Libby the other uh, library audiobook app that I have so I'm gonna do my best to read this with my eyeballs but I am really enjoying it. This one is when I started a couple months ago and I'm really mad at myself for not continuing with this book and just letting it sit not even half read. I mean I've I've read over 100 pages of this book. Um, it is The Son of the Storm by Suyu Davies Okunboa. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I just let it sit and sit and sit and months have gone by and I haven't picked it up. So thankfully I saved my place. We're gonna keep reading this because the second book just came out. The next one is my ARC copy of Daughter of Winter and Twilight by Helen Corcoran. This is the sequel to Queen of Coin and Whispers. It takes place 14 years after the end of that book. And this one I'm only a little bit of ways in, mostly because I started this at a time where I started like seven books at once and this one just kind of fell to the wayside because it's very chunky and I can't get my hands on the audiobook. So I am really enjoying it. I love Helen's writing style. This is one of those books where I do need to be able to just sit and be with it. It's it's not one that I find I can just like 
put down, pick up, put down, pick up amongst reading other things. And then the last one, I'm debating DNFing this book. It is A Fellowship of Bakers and Magic by Jay Penner. I was sent this and I started it last week uh, and I am six chapters in and there's just something about the writing style that I, I'm not driving with. I might give it a couple more chapters and see if it piques my interest a little bit more. I'm 70 pages in. So, you know, if I get to page 100 and I'm not feeling it, I will probably end up DNFing this. I just stuck another book in my stack because that's not enough. <laughs> uh, my friend Jason, who is at Easy Cat on all platforms, uh, has a book club on Fable and this month they are reading The Night Circus by Erin Morgan Stern, which is one of my favorite books. Um, I This is my original copy that I read for the first time and have read for every uh, consecutive reread. And I just, I love this book so much. <laughs> it seemed like a great reason to do a reread. Uh, and I'm also gonna see if maybe I can get my hands on the audiobook of this book because I have heard great things about it and I've never read it on audio before. So I thought that could be fun, especially because I can't get the audiobooks of any of the other books that I <laughs> need to finish. Let's go see what my dinner is doing. I think I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna take my cookie and tea, edit this vlog, and read a little bit of one of the many books I am reading at the beginning of this month and go to bed. Thanks for hanging out on this day four of Vlogmas. <laughs>